It's November 5th, 2024, Election Day, the chance to have your voice heard. Claudia Nichols is live outside of Friendship Baptist Church in Mobile. Claudia, earlier this morning, it was a long wait to vote in many places. How are things looking where you are? Yeah, Joe and Chelsea, right now I am standing here at Friendship Baptist Church and there actually is not a long line outside. Let me take a step out of the way so you can see what we're looking at right here in real time. Um, there are still plenty of cars in the parking lot, but people are moving steadily in and out of this polling location. Now, when you're going to the polls today, there are a few things you need to remember to bring with you. Um, you might need your patience for standing in line at some of those other polling locations that might have longer lines and also don't forget to bring a photo ID. The polls opened at 7 a.m. this morning and will be closing at 7 p.m. tonight. Now, if you're still unsure of which polling location you can go to, don't worry, you can still use your zip code to find that information on our website. You can head over to fox10tv.com and go to the story called Election Day 2024 for more information. Now, we will continue bringing you live updates all throughout the day, so make sure you're staying with us right here on Fox 10 News for all of your Election Day coverage. For now, reporting live from Friendship Baptist Church, Claudia Nichols, Fox 10 News. All right, Claudia, thank you. And let's head over to Baldwin County right now. Fox 10's Hal Shurek is live from Daphne Civic Center. Hal, we're approaching those lunch hours where things are about to really ramp up. Yeah, they really are. You can see some buses behind me. Uh, this is Seagrass Village pulling up bringing some of their residents up here to vote. It has been very steady here. Of course, this is one of the largest precincts on the Eastern Shore, uh, the Daphne Civic Center. Thousands of people vote here every election cycle, and we've seen that today. I talked to some people who said that even with all the crowds that have been here, it has been very smooth and very calm uh, inside. I mean, shorter lines because once they get in the doors, they're able to spread out. I'm gonna get out of the way here and let you see kind of what's going on. Uh, as I tell you a little bit more about what I've learned about turnout today, I did speak with Baldwin County elections official. Uh, that would be Judge Harry Dolive a little bit earlier today. And he told me he's working the south part of the county. Their team has split into three different uh, groups uh, to work the different parts of the county today. But he said that uh, very busy uh, this morning, and we've been hearing that and seeing that all across the Gulf Coast, uh, especially as polls opened at 7 a.m. Things along, now that we're approaching the lunch hour, have definitely uh, slowed a little as far as lines go. And, and at a large precinct like this, uh, they have room to spread out inside unlike some of the smaller uh, precincts and churches where you still have some lines forming outside. Now, Judge Dolive told me that in the 2020 election cycle, the last presidential election, Baldwin County uh, had a 62% voter turnout, which is uh, a strong voter turnout. He anticipates that today we will see 60% plus. Uh, that's, that's what he's thinking. And, and by all accounts, from what we've seen so far, uh, today that will be the case. Now, as Claudia just mentioned, you cannot forget to have a government issued photo ID. You must live and reside in the county and district that you vote in. If you don't know where to vote, you can still contact the Board of Registrars today. You can call there and, and speak with the Board of Registrars. They can tell you where your polling place is. You can also find that online still, uh, at the Baldwin County Elections uh, website. So. Uh, make sure you know where you're going because with such a high turnout, you could find yourself wasting a lot of time if you get inside after waiting in line just to find out that you're in the wrong place. So there are ways to do that. You need to be sure to go ahead and do that. I spoke with a voter who came in, a couple of them actually, and I want to let you hear from, from one of the uh, voters that I spoke with after they came out about the kind of environment they're experiencing here this morning as we uh, turn out the vote. This year to me is the most important year to get out and vote. So I encourage you all. Um, it is your duty um, and it's also for the betterment of our country. Because I'm a disabled veteran and I'm able to stay at home for the most part. So I decided to come later in the day to see if maybe it had a better chance of there not being in line. And uh, it was real nice and easy. Like I set up 10, 10 or 12 people in line, but it goes by like that. And then, uh, you know, you got your privacy with your tables and stuff. And when you're done, you're done. It's that easy. 
Yeah, that easy, and that's kind of the message I've been hearing, at least here at this precinct. And really, from what uh, my converse, how my conversation with Judge Dalib went, that's what they're finding everywhere. A very calm environment, even though it's been very busy this morning. Uh, everybody is just coming in, voting, and, and able to get in and get out pretty quickly. Uh, so you, polls, of course, are open all day long. They don't close until 7 o'clock tonight. Once again, if you don't know where to vote, you can still reach out to the Board of Registrars or go online and find out. So reporting live here in Daphne, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News. All right, Hal, thank you. And you can stay with Fox 10 News for your local election coverage. Coming up in our next half hour, we'll check in with Fox 10 Stephen Moody in Pensacola. Hal, who you just heard from, and Claudia Nichols will continue their coverage during Fox 10 Live at 3. Continue to stay with us throughout the day and night with our nightside crew. Fox 10's Ariel Mallory, Brendan Kirby, and Dacian Smith will give you the latest updates on air online on Fox10TV.com through push notifications and with our news app. We'll also have live election coverage on our Fox 10 Golf stream starting at 6 o'clock.